Hey, my friends, Rocket here. It's a little noisy. My wife, look at her. She is amazing. She is pressure washing to her heart's content. But look, that's not why we're doing a segment. This is the weekend segment. Look at the banana trees. I've already worked on them a little bit. But I've got another cluster. I've got two clusters. No, not in the pool. Look how dense that is. Now these rascals right now, as you might could tell, uh, right here is about five, six, where my hand is. And they're much higher than that. They're probably nine, 10 feet tall. Look how dense they are in there. Love the cross, Jesus rocks. Look how dense, very dense. Well, because I have this lush garden area, I found a timber rattlesnake in here two years ago. I'm not a big fan of having lush, lush, lushness. So what I do, a lot of people ask, how do you do banana trees? How do you maintain them? So I take that there. What is that there? That there is a folding handsaw. Lowe's has them, uh, Home Depot, a lot of places has them. It folds. You release this little lever and then the blade folds back into here. Kind of like a big pocket knife. And so you go in here, no rocket, you're not gonna do it. I am, no you're not. And right here, oh my gosh, did you see that? And there's my little pile. And I've even cut a few down. See, I've got some little babies coming up. I don't want little babies coming up, I'm sorry. But I like this open. See how, see, I can see my dwarf crepe myrtle way back there in the back. Before, look at all that, the leaves, I couldn't see all that. So I go in here and I just, just make a flush cut and I'll gently pull those out of there. And all that's gonna do is encourage more growth and they're gonna get taller. And last year I had bananas on these here banana trees which was quite unusual because I don't dig them up. Usually to get bananas, hey, there you are. Usually to get bananas, you have to dig them up and bring them indoors and the next year they'll produce. But I got bananas in about October, which that was pushing the limit of these bananas life because we get a frost and that's not good. So what do you do with bananas? Maybe some of you are happy and content with them being full and thick at the bottom. Me, not so much, not a fan of snakes, particularly a timber rattlesnake. Bang, bang, shoot them dead. I don't like that. but. So right here, I've got a few more little little pieces. See those leaves? I'm gonna cut those off. I like to just tree form and get things up in the air. All right, so there you go. A lot of people are asking, well, what do you do with bananas? They're fast, they're easy to grow. Now in the winter time, we'll come through here and I'll let a frost. Let a frost get on them. Let the first frost get on them. And then you'll come down here, right here, where my, see my saw blade? My folding handsaw, folding handsaw. And you'll cut that flush and then you can tell I've got a lot of pine straw in there. I'll take more pine straw and or bark, and maybe even some uh, ratty towels, and I'll lay the towels across, then I'll mulch heavy with the pine straw to protect the roots for the winter time, because all the roots are right here at the top. They're just a big bulb. Big bulb. I use the sanctuary and the hash to grow on these things, and they love it. Hannah's Garden Shop, if you don't know about Hannah's Garden Shop, it's on Highway 280. 205-991-2939. Sanctuary, it's all organic fertilizer. Hash to grow is a liquid, it's amazing. You can use it indoors and outdoors. Sanctuary stays outdoors only, but they're both organic, it's amazing. So they carry that, and I don't mean to produce, uh, you know, push, promote Hannah so much, but they carry it. Uh, the big box stores don't, that's okay, but Hannah's does, it's inexpensive and it's great. So banana trees, what do you do with them? I like to get mine up. All right, my friends, you're amazing. I'm gonna get in that bare pool with my wife. After she gets done pressure washing, she is pressure washing. Praise God, I got me a good one. I got me a good one. You know, I don't pay her enough to be married to me. I'm high maintenance, praise God. She is amazing. All right, have a great day. It's your weekend segment, rockettv.com. Bananas, giddy up.